A place for us, I will show you where to go I won't try to change your mind Cause I'm always on your side Good morning, beautiful people! Another beautiful day here in South Tyrol. The weather is perfect, it's not raining anymore. And we are going to have lunch with my daddy in Balvenosta, one of the most beautiful valleys here in South Tyrol. And in the afternoon, we are bringing you with us in a really spectacular and symbolic place, always in Balvenosta. Let's go. All these trees are apple trees or grapes and you can find them everywhere. South Tyrol is the less Italian region of Italy because it's really similar to Austria. And even the architecture, it's similar to Germany and to Austria. They are really careful about the environment. So it's... Everybody speaks German. Uh... Those were all solar panels. Uh, I like because here in South Tyrol they are really, you know, technological at the same time. They are super green. Uh, they try to use the new technologies uh, to have a less impact on the environment. Here's my daddy. Arrived in Cilandro, Schlanders in German, and it's time for lunch. Ciao! Ciao. You see also the menu is in German and in Italian. Mm, this is a typical dish uh, here from uh, South Tyrol. So I can't wait to, to taste them. And this is a fresh pasta with pear and cheese. Beautiful with the flour and uh, this presentation. This salad is called in Italian uh, um, cappuccio or ca cavolo mm -hmm. or crauti. Buon appetito! We had a great lunch with really typical product from Alto Adige, South Tyrol and now it's time to go ahead we will have other 40 minutes drive and we will arrive to Ration Lake here we have our vehicle and Sarah's father has his vehicle here Bye bye, Sarah. Let's hit the road. Kuron, Russian Lake. I can't get up alone. Too heavy on my own. The world is moving on. I'm still standing here. Searching for steady ground. Place to settle down. No reasons left to find. One day I'll change your mind, and it won't come easy. But I know it's worth the fight, and I will run across the river. We arrive at the lake 
Russian Lake in Italian, Lago di Resia, and the village Curon, ground in, uh, in German. It's pretty popular nowadays because there is a series on Netflix that it's called, the title is Curon. So this is the place where they, they filmed the, the series. This is the lake and in one second we will tell you more about the history of this place and it's really interesting. Guys, we arrived to the lake and uh, as you can uh, probably see, this is a paradise for kite surfing. You can see all the people here ready to go. Sorry for the wind, guys, but yeah, if it's a paradise for the kite surf, that means that it's windy. <laughs> yes. The small village of Curon, ground in German, flooded following the construction of a large dam that united three lakes. Since then, the only thing that you can see that appears still from the water is this. It's the bell tower, which makes the Lake Ration, Lago di Resia, unique and magical. As a symbol of this valley, we are in Venosta Valley, in Val Venosta, in Italy. We are at 1,500 meters above sea level, and this Lake Ration is the largest lake in South Tyrol. But the history about this place is a little bit sad. Once here, there were three lakes. Lake Ration, Lago di Resia, Lake Curon, and Lake Valentino alla Muta. And after the construction of this dam, just one lake remained that submerged all this little village, all its houses and its land. So the inhabitants of this area had to be evacuated and they lost everything. During the winter time you can reach the bell tower by food when the lake freezes. The legend says uh, during uh, the cold winter nights uh, you can still hear the bells are ringing. What a magical place, guys. It's yeah. unique, it's really incredible. And when you are coming from the road and you see the church that appears from the lake, it seems surreal because you say, what, what happened here? It's super weird. Yeah. yeah. So for all the people that didn't know about this place, now you know the secret, then unfortunately the sad history behind this place. We are hiking to reach a panorama point 
where we can have a really beautiful view of all the lake. You can sit here far from all the people. Have you ever seen a place like this? Beautiful. With a church? In the water, yeah. never. This church is from the 14th century. And it's still there. Off in the water, off in the air. Wow, guys. To me, coming here in this area where I didn't grow up and uh, I don't know exactly, you know, the language and everything, is like being in another country. It doesn't look like Italy. So, yeah, it's like going uh, for a road trip in another country, but it actually is Italy. Can you imagine me growing up here? Yeah, probably. Am I different? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> different could be a really great compliment. I think different means unique, means that you think out of the box. The garage. Yeah, you think out of the box. Could be a good thing. Okay, I think now it's time to go to head back home. It's quite windy here, you probably know it uh, because of the noise uh, and it's starting to be cold so it's time to head to our van and hit the road. Heading home a quick stop in Burgusio so you can have an idea of the castles we have in this area in the beautiful Venosta Valley. Enjoy the view from the sky! And I also have a castle that we can see directly from the window of my room. And every morning, every night we go to sleep or we wake up with this beautiful view. And the castle, it's called Castel Tirolo. Look at the light coming through the clouds. I don't know if they can see it. Good, Good night, night, beautiful, beautiful people. people. <laughs> see, girl. Every time I stay here in South Tyrol, I feel so tired. It's such a beautiful place where you feel relaxed, you feel chilling, you feel that you just want to sleep. I don't know if it's just because I'm really back home, let's say like this. I don't know where home is, actually, for, for us. Home is, is everywhere, you feel good. I'm super tired. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Ciao. We are in Merano city center. These are called the Portici. And this is really iconic, an iconic place from Merano. Here you can see Sara's uh, last name, Bertagnoli, up there.
Here's the place where people come to walk and to enjoy this river that is called Pasirio and it's just in the middle of the town and then on the other side of the river we have the Terme, the hotel and the wellness center and this is the beautiful view from one side and from the other side and from the other side This palace that you can see here is called Kurhaus or Kursal when there is an event or music concert they do everything inside here Everybody thinks that here in Merano the weather is super cold and we are in the mountains so we don't have flowers, we don't have plants, but actually here in Merano we are at 300 meters above sea level and we have also palms, olive tree. We have a Mediterranean climate, so the weather is really nice. Peacock, uh, it's a peacock and uh, the flowers are all really really nice uh, and uh, taken care of. Uh, more palms over there. And every season they do something different. Ah, they change? Yeah, they change. And this is the stemma, it's the symbol of Merano. An eagle. This is Porta Bolzano, it's one of the four entrances that we have to the city center, the old city center of Merano. See the stemma. And it was built in 1451. And now it's time to drive back home. We are back in Lucky Land. We are back. It was nice to spend some time with my dad and in my hometown, but now we really need to focus on the van conversion. This yeah, guy. it's time to start the van conversion. We hope you enjoyed this little road trip to Merano, to South Tyrol. The Italian words for today are Andiamo. Let's go. Per favore. Please. Non capisco. I don't understand. Andiamo. Let's go. Per favore. Please. Non capisco. I don't understand. We love you guys. We appreciate you. Thank you for coming along with us. If you like the video, please show us by giving a big thumbs up. Hit the notification bell and please consider to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done already. It means a lot to us. See you on the next one. La vita bella. Life is beautiful. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao.